Namaskara. I am Dr. Hari Harumukti. I am an ENT specialist practicing in Bangalore for more than three decades now. Barotrauma, as the name implies, is problems caused by change in pressure. A person who is taking off on a flight which is not properly pressurized or even if it's pressurized can have drop in pressure causing reduction in the air compliance inside the ear. What happens is the pressure drops and as a result sucks out the air inside the eardrum. As a result, there is a blocked feeling that you have. The hearing may come down a little. But if you have a cold and you are taking off on a flight, it will cause a very severe blockage to the extent that you may not be able to hear somebody sitting in front of you and talking. That is the first thing that can happen, block ears. Sometimes if the pressure is very high, as in case of diving, people who do deep sea diving are prone to develop barotrauma to the ear for the opposite reason that there is increase in pressure outside because of the water pressure as you go deeper. As a result, it pushes out the air from inside the ear and then as a result, you have a block year which is why equalization measures have to be done if you have a bad cold you have a similar kind of impact wherein the aerodynamics of the nose do not permit normal airflow and because of the pressure which which you breathe causing a vacuum effect at the back of the nose sucks out air from the ear as a result you can have pressure variation causing a blocked ear multiple reasons like this can cause barotrauma Blowing your nose can also cause pressure problems as a result of which you can have ruptured eardrum. Never blow the nose very hard. Very important to follow as well as putting pressure from the outside with a earbud which is not really a earbud. It's a cotton bud which is not designed for cleaning the ear. That can also cause pressure problems and a slap on the ear is also pressure because the air column inside the ear canal is pushed inside at great force. As a result, it can cause a rupture of the eardrum. Barotrauma is not just what happens when you take off on a flight or go underwater. You can have multiple barotrauma incidents that happen out of day-to-day -day practices which are not really the right things to do. Please take care. Do not use anything inside the ear. Don't blow the nose very hard. You have to sneeze, don't hold your nose and try to snuffle the sneeze. This is going to be dangerous for the ear.